Division Street is an area in need of revitalization. The implementation of safety, green space, and development design will open new possibilities to the area and bring community building business opportunities. From 4th Avenue to North Point Drive, there are 72 parcels totaling in at about 121 acres. Two of these parcels are vacant and two are partially vacant. The current land value for this section of Division Street is estimated to be more than $13 million. The improvement value for this area of Division Street is estimated to be nearly $28 million with the average improvement value per parcel totaling around $400,000. The community of Stevens Point is ever-changing, and Division Street is not adapting to meet the current needs of the community. As planners, we have the opportunity to redevelop Division Street to meet these needs. Division Street should foster and enhance the resilience of the entire Stevens Point community. This presentation will focus on three identified scenarios for improvement of this area, involving safety, green space, and smart growth. Many of the world's cities can become safer, healthier places by changing the design of their streets and communities. Where public streets have been designed to serve primarily or even exclusively private motor vehicle traffic, they can be made immensely safer for all users if they are designed to effectively serve pedestrians, public transport users, bicyclists, and other public activity. This scenario Safety focuses on ways that planning can improve overall pedestrian safety on Division Street. We see this as an important scenario to focus on due to the high volume of vehicle use in this area. This scenario will highlight ways to enhance community safety using three design elements as well as how rezoning and redevelopment of abandoned parcels can create a pedestrian friendly environment. I will explain how better connected pedestrian crossways bike lanes, and sidewalks can create a safer traveling environment for pedestrians in the first part of this presentation. Enhancing the current crosswalks along Division is one way Stevens Point can put the priorities of pedestrians before automobile transportation. Creating safe street crossing areas along Division Street will increase the walkability and connectedness of the region. Creating a more walkable community will encourage active transportation, which improves the health of the community members. There will also be a decrease in unnecessary automobile trips that can improve our environment by reducing carbon emissions. This graphic shows the six junctions that currently are being used as pedestrian crosswalks along Division. The current comprehensive plan for Stevens Point states that the city should promote developments that strengthen the identity of local commercial areas and promote pedestrian access. By creating better pedestrian connections across Division Street, Stevens Point will be promoting economic interest in the commercial businesses that are located near and along Division Street. In the following slides, I will show the current crosswalk conditions at each of the six junctions along Division, as well as provide a graphic image of a safer, more accessible, pedestrian-friendly crosswalk option. The intersection of Division and Schofield Avenue has potential for increased activity from the local high school students. Currently, there aren't any signs indicating that there is a crosswalk located at that intersection. Academy Avenue is a busy intersection for both car and pedestrian traffic due to Triggs and McDonald's. Maria Drive is an important intersection since it connects campus with the rest of Division Street. The intersection of Division and 6th Avenue is another crosswalk that lacks appropriate signage and signaling. The intersection of Division and 4th Avenue is another highly populated campus connection. Traffic signal control at intersections separates different flows of traffic from each other and can improve vehicle and pedestrian safety. Simple changes in pavement color, added signage, enhanced lighting, and signals at all crosswalks along Division Street can create a safe travel environment for pedestrians. 
The bicycling benchmark report indicates that there is a big percentage of the Stevens Point population that uses bicycling as a means of transportation. Creating a sound bicycle network and adequate biking facilities will encourage biking use and physical activity, which would reduce carbon emissions and our environmental impact. Adding bike lanes on Division Street will create safer and narrower roads that will encourage slower traffic speeds and increase drivers' perception of impediments to motion and shorten pedestrian crossing distance. Street connectivity is an important element to focus on when reimagining Division Street, since excellent connectivity actively seeks to discourage car use by making local trips easier and more pleasurable by bike or foot. Sidewalk design is also a key component in creating a safe pedestrian environment. A well-equipped sidewalk should accommodate those with disabilities, provide adequate space for pedestrian activity, provide functional amenities such as trash cans, light poles, and benches, and also be aesthetically pleasing by incorporating vegetation. The second scenario we identified for Division Street revitalization is improved green space and public transit. Implementing improved public transit and green space will help to lead positive development in this area. Green space and public transit both help to connect community members to feel a part of Division Street and the surrounding community. Green space and public transit can be implemented through bus stops, planting of trees, shrubs, gardens, and rain gardens that include native plants. Looking at an image of the current bus stops along Division Street, you can see that there are no bus stops along Division. Division runs adjacent to the University of Stevens Point campus residence halls and supports many hotspot businesses as well. Due to the large amount of traffic in this area, it would be beneficial to add a bus stop along Division Street to increase the usability of this area as well as increase safety at night. We propose a suitable site for a bus stop along Division Street would take place at the current Curry in a Hurry vacant lot. This site would work well as it is close to the surrounding residence halls behind parking lot P and in the middle of the high traffic area of Division. Not only would this allow greater access to the area, but it would also help to bring in new desired development to the area. As stated in Chapter 3 of the Stevens Point Comprehensive Plan, New transportation facilities can also significantly affect the development potential of adjacent lands. To improve pedestrian transit into Division Street, we propose to utilize Schmeekley Reserve and its current trails. Schmeekley Reserve is such an integral part of Stevens Point and thus should be recognized along Division Street. Developing a new trail through Schmeekley to the open area behind Kmart will bring new opportunities for community participation in this area. This will not only help the community, but will revitalize the dilapidated area and bring in new business opportunities. Before implementing green design, it is important to construct along the current goals of the city. Chapter 5 of the Comprehensive Plan explains these goals. The city of Stevens Point is situated in a V-shaped zone between the two major natural resource corridors, the Wisconsin and Plover Rivers. Schmeekley Reserve on the University of Wisconsin-Stevens Point campus is a valuable natural environmental area located in the center of this zone between the two rivers. These environmental resources have important present-day value and further potential for public education, recreation, and other leisure time activities. These areas have importance for the preservation and appreciation of the natural environment. To accomplish these goals, the city can turn unutilized paved areas into impervious surfaces, such as gardens, native grasses, trees, rocks, and other natural forms that will enhance the beauty of this area, as well as prevent greater runoff into the surrounding natural areas. Including benches into these areas will develop better community connectivity between citizens and make Division Street an area that is dominated not only by cars, but people as well. As previously stated, Division Street falls between two rivers that are vital to the community. 
There are concerns of urban stormwater runoff contaminating these areas. As Division Street is located in the center of this V and has mainly impervious surfaces, we are concerned that this area has little effort in place to mitigate the current runoff. To mitigate runoff, implementing rain gardens throughout the Division Street area would prove beneficial to collect and filter the polluted water before it can enter the waterways. Rain gardens are shallow depressions that are designed to hold water for short periods of time, typically less than 48 hours. Many of the plants found in rain gardens are native to the region and thus do not need special attention once they're established. Division Street is a tax increment district which would allow them to fund the implementation of the rain gardens and other garden areas. The tax increment district plan addresses the need to implement water system improvements, storm sewer systems, and landscaping. All of these would prove to be beneficial to the area while meeting the needs of the city and the surrounding community. The third scenario is smart growth. Smart growth is an important planning technique that allows communities to develop in a way that is economically, environmentally, and socially friendly. The principles of smart growth include mixed land uses, walkable neighborhoods, compact buildings, options in transportation, options in housing, preservation of green space, distinct and attractive areas, and strengthening existing communities. All of these principles are very important, and if implemented, would represent all scenarios that would make Division Street into an area that could benefit the economy and community while lowering the environmental consequences associated with the current layout of Division Street. Of these pr principles, options in housing is one of the most important due to the current lack of residential infrastructure on Division and potential that the increased housing options could have on Division Street. Stevens Point is home to a very diverse range of age and income classes, but lacking options in housing to accommodate these demographics. University students make up over one-third of Stevens Point's population, which has created a lower than average median age of about 26 years old. As you can see in Figure 1.1, over 40% of the population is between the ages of 15 to 29. About 14% of the population is aged 30 to 44. 18% of the population is 45 to 64 years old. And 12% of the population is 65 and older. Figure 1.2 shows the makeup of housing in the city of Stevens Point. More than half of the nearly 27,000 people living in Stevens Point live in rented homes or group quarters, which would be considered the dorms, while only 48% of the people actually own their own home. The average income in Stevens Point is under $40,000, which is lower than Wisconsin's average, and the average rent paid per month in 2013 was about $630. The average number of people living in the same home for more than one year is only 67%. Stevens Point needs to develop housing options for the high amount of young, low-income renters, and developing Division Street to do so is the perfect solution. Division Street is mainly hardscape, lacking greenscape, hangout areas, and housing options, which creates a concrete atmosphere that is difficult for people to enjoy time in. The majority of division is commercially zoned as can be seen in the figure 2 and image 1. Developing residential dwellings along Division Street can provide many economic, social, and environmental benefits to the community. Residential dwellings could potentially be built on vacant commercial lots and or added to single-story commercial buildings along Division, which can be seen in image 2 on the right. The blue parcels are commercial buildings that are best fit for residential development. The new residential units will be able to provide housing for a large number of renters and can serve different ages and lifestyles through offering different sizes and options in dwelling units. In order to offer any options in housing along Division Street, Stevens Point will have to implement a new district on Division that is specifically designated with the intent to establish mixed-use development of residential and commercial buildings that may exist in close proximity. Image 3 shows what the new district will look like. All commercially zoned parcels will be zoned mixed use. 
With the lack of construction areas and high number of young renters in Stevens Point, the best option for additional housing would be to construct compact residential units above commercial buildings on division. Stevens Point will have to update their zoning ordinance to include the new mixed-use district. This slide shows an example of what the new district might look like in Stevens Point's zoning ordinance. The new mixed-use district will be named BMX and will have to be added to the zoning ordinance under business districts. The intent of this district is to establish mixed-use development of residential and commercial building types along Division Street. The commercial zoning type will permit, rather than require, a vertical mix of commercial and residential uses within the same building, as well as horizontal mixed use of residential and commercial properties adjacent to each other. Image 3 on the right shows examples of vertical and horizontal mixed units. All of the permitted uses and conditional uses can be seen above. Some of the permitted uses include the same permitted uses as the R4 district except single-family residences, personal services, dwelling units, and essential services. Some of the conditional uses include the same conditional uses as the R4 district, motels, storage facilities, and taverns. The new district can be zoned to regulate the green space, dwelling sizes, setbacks, transit options, lighting, signs, and much more. The picture on this slide is an example of what a new mixed-use building could look like along Division Street. The economic benefits of this building include bringing in tax revenue from residential dwellings, providing jobs, allowing for more business, businesses and residents to reside in a building, connecting different stores and businesses, as well as increasing foot traffic around businesses. Social benefits include bringing community members together, creating social diversity and options for community housing, allowing students to effectively get to businesses from campus, allowing citizens to live close to their work site, and potentially bringing in more students to the university. Environmental benefits of this building include better use of land, less resource and energy use in the building and during maintenance, reduces greenhouse gas emissions, and makes walking an easier choice of transportation along division. Stevens Point is in need of housing, and by developing Division Street to allow mixed usages, this can be satisfied while benefiting the economy, community, and the environment. Today we observed three different scenarios for Division Street. Although they are each different, we believe that the true success in the revitalization of Division Street lies within each of these scenarios. Implementing aspects of each of these plans will open new possibilities to the area and bring community building business opportunities. The focus of the city should center on mixed use as it will allow implementation of all of these aspects we have developed in our three scenarios. We hope you enjoyed this presentation and found it inspiring and informational. Thank you.